and welcome to Geekit Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to look on some imported maps, how the, we can take map from outside, for example, DAM map or some other ones, and use it inside the world machine and also how we can enhance. Here's an example. I'm going to the side, USGS, and you can go there, just you know, go around and select what map do you want to see. You also need to log in to receive your, and it's free to receive a map to download it. One thing I was kind of disappointed, it's low resolution. You can go with higher uh, if you purchase from them. So example, let's go right here. I'm just going to select some areas. Okay, and it's take a little time to render. Okay, let's go a little bit closer right here maybe. You can see this is about 20 kilometers and I think the 20 kilometers is about the lowest you can go from this. You can specify additional and if you work on some um, production games, movies, other things, you can also buy the higher resolution map for that. So right here example this area and I want to just use it for example kind of like this segment so I'm going to define area that I want downloaded and you know what let's go just right here this is about 40 kilometers about 40 kilometers maybe a little bit more okay when you're done selecting area we can download it and let's go to need to download it will open I will use it by default as global you can use it different if you prefer again Format I want TFF the geo type um, JPEG will produce too much compression so this one best and also you need to specify what you're downloading for or the reason okay when you're done you will receive the image you can download it directly also be sure to check that information right here you will have with your elevation minimum and maximum for that area and uh, also overall size so my columns is more than rows so it's not totally square uh, when I'm importing in the world machine which using square tiles will be a little bit need be adjusting or you can go inside um, Photoshop and clip to precise size sometimes what you want maybe take a large scale of the map and after slice it inside the Photoshop it's much easier that way so when we're done, let's go ahead and downloading. Okay, and when download complete, we can go back to ours and start working here. So in World Machine, you have the generators, and in part of generation, it's file input. So let's go select this one. By opening, you notice right here you have an option to download files. So we'll just go open and I'm selecting this map. Let's go click OK. And we can start using one thing I noticed that that map, if you look right here in the resolution, it's very low. So the height may need adjusted. OK, we can use it square scaling. And I think it's apply actually work very well. So if you look overall, you can download a different type of files. We don't need click interpret it as a RGB. In some cases, you may need it readjust by Y position flipping. And uh, everything else is about the same. After refresh, we want to leave it. If we rebuild net on the network or people update it, so we want to set altitude scaling. Okay, we can have it full resolution. On this case, we'll take it all the resolution from one to zero and scale up some trick resolution right here if you remember um, we're going back right here here with your elevations which is not necessarily applied in this case but you can modify but overall if we're going switch this is about same elevation and one thing I want to actually decrease here to about 2000 meter and I'm doing this just for the look when we're working with this so we can apply it but when you go you can go very accurate apply elevations so the world machine will accept it 
Okay, let's click right here. Okay, we'll accept it. We can go preview at this time. Okay, let's render this node. And again, you can see this is not the greatest resolution downloaded. So the higher resolution, the better, of course, it will be. And you can stretch and increase. The next things you can do, you can also apply to the Perlin noise right here to get sometimes extra if kind of um, pump pump effect on this. So right here you can see apply too much. So we want to set slightly different. So let's go to shape guide kind of a readjusting and you can see we bring a little bit down that way so we need increase height but that way also it's apply some of the small details so if we need to bring them again we can reduce increase a teeny tiny amount of details Of almost make okay, bring elevation up like to restore to what was before and plus stepness okay let's preview and right here kind of with detail enhancement so that's what we've done maybe too much details on this enhancement so we need to Reduce obviously. Let's look like sponge at this moment. Okay, maybe let's bring up. But again, this is and we're going with a uh, 20 kilometers. So if you want to add details to this, you just slightly change shape. But because the procedure will use this map, it's actually will create a very nice um, the look. So right here you can see now we have much more details, small details that does not change too much of the our terrain. The next step, of course, we can go ahead and apply some erosion to this. Okay, let me go this way. I'm we'll just log preview. Okay, right here we'll go to open erosion this time, and you can see we can apply quite a bit similar effect even you can apply to the edge time you know just right here enable as well smooth it out so it's add effect let's click ok so you can see it's much higher details at this point Erosion just move out some, add a little bit more distribution. But again, this is map we downloaded from DM. The other option sometimes, if you have just JPEG image, you can add a blur right here between, so it smooth some of those effect, and again pop up back with pearl and some details you smooth out. So you will preserve some general shapes, but you will smooth out some um, compression, maybe artifacts or other ones from imported image and rework this way. So to do similar again, we don't need to do necessarily this, just as example. We're going to take this right here, connect our blur. effect will open and pop up slightly okay let's preview render and you can see right here we remove some of those high effect we still have a details from the purling noise that we applied and obviously our um, erosion adds some nice to this as well so in this case we can bring Yes, a little bit closer maybe. Just 
just a look there you go so with pearl noise we add a little bit more details and remove some unnecessary roughness but again in this case we don't really need this because it's already map tff and kind of nice with details so we don't need to do it here there's our effect okay and of course next you will create um different maps okay high map have our flow map that we just created the additional map so remember you also because this is input map you can have it also as well um high field output map on this one as well and it's what kind of even you already have it but if you want to produce same so you can have an original height map that is before created okay right here so right here how you can enhance um imported image dm image and reuse and export maybe as your map in another application thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com